in the ancient city of Varanasi, shrouded in mystery and devoutness. Whispered tales of vettles echo through the narrow alleyways and darkened chambers. These ghostly creatures, born from the realms of Hindu mythology, were said to possess a terrifying power, the ability to animate lifeless bodies, transforming them into vessels for their insidious existence. Legend spoke of an abandoned cremation ground on the outskirts of the city, where forbidden rituals were once practiced by a secretive cult. It was here that the ethereal bond between the vettles and lifeless corpses was born, their fates entwined in darkness and eternal unrest. Raja, a young and curious villager, had been regaled with these eerie tales since childhood, driven by an insatiable desire for knowledge. He ventured deep into the heart of the haunted cremation ground, in search of the veracity of these unearthly claims. Ignoring the warnings of the villagers, his steps faltering over ancient stones, Roger crept closer to the forbidden truth. As twilight settled upon the land, the ominous silence was shattered by a chilling gust of wind that whispered secrets from centuries past. A single vettel, older than time itself, emerged from the shadows, its form distorted and its eyes burning with an otherworldly light. Its voice evoked fear even in the bravest of souls. Its words carried on the air like a haunting melody. Raja, seeker of forbidden knowledge, you have awakened the spirits of the dead. Beware the consequences of meddling in the affairs of the afterlife. For the Vettel's wield powers that can destroy both body and soul, the Vettel murmured, its voice dripping with an unearthly resonance. Bound by a mix of curiosity and trepidation, Raja pleaded with the Vettel to share its eerie wisdom. In a voice that dripped with malevolence, the Vettel granted his request. Realizing that curiosity had ensnared yet another unsuspecting soul. Listen closely, young mortal. Vettels are appointed guardians of darkness. Cursed beings who can occupy the lifeless remnants of the deceased. Once bound to a corpse, they cease to decay, trapped within the decaying flesh. Their hunger for life and their thirst for chaos knows no bounds, the Vettel cautioned. Its voice shrouded in a sinister aura. Raja's heart raced, yet an insidious fascination pulsed within his veins, urging him to press further. He implored the Vettel to reveal more, to expose the nature of their powers and weaknesses. Hoping to gain an edge against these spectral entities that danced on the fringes of reality, with a sinister grin revealing rows of razor-sharp teeth, the Vettel reluctantly divulged its secrets. Vettels possessed the ability to traverse between the worlds of the living and the dead at will. They could abandon their fleshy abode, leaving behind the lifeless corpse, only to seek another vessel to perpetuate their unholy existence. But that was where the Vettel's narrative ended, for Roger would need to unravel the remaining chapters in his quest for knowledge. Drawn into a dangerous dance with the paranormal, Roger teetered on the precipice of everlasting darkness, destined to uncover the secrets that had long been buried within the shadowed corridors of the Vettel's realms. Roger, now consumed by an insatiable thirst for knowledge that bordered on obsession, embarked on a perilous journey to understand the Vettel's secrets. The nights became his sanctuary. As he delved deeper into forbidden texts and sought counsel from dubious sources, with each passing day, the line between the real and ethereal began to blur for Raja. Dark circles formed beneath his eyes, his mind haunted by relentless nightmares populated by ghastly apparitions and sinister whispers that seemed to emanate from the shadows themselves. As he yearned to uncover the darkest depths of battle lore, Raja found himself traversing treacherous terrains, entering realms that few mortals dared to explore. Time became a blur, days merging into nights as he reached the crumbling remnants of ancient temples and long-forgotten burial grounds, where the scent of decay hung heavy in the air. Amidst his relentless pursuit, the oppressive grip of the Vettels tightened its hold on Raja's soul. 
Strange occurrences plagued him, objects moved on their own accord. Chilling drafts whispered through his dwelling, and the stench of death lingered in his wake. The Vettels were aware of his presence, their ethereal whispers encircling him like an unseen shroud. Desperation melded with fear, but Roger pressed on, consumed by an unspeakable hunger for the forbidden truth that lay just beyond his grasp. The boundaries of his sanity began to fragment, for the line that separated the realms of the living and the dead had blurred into an intoxicating haze. Then, one fateful night, as he delved deeper into an unearthed tone set to possess the Vettel's most guarded secrets, a chill settled within Raja's bones. An ominous silence enveloped his surroundings, a silence that echoed with the weight of unseen eyes watching him, their malevolent gazes piercing through the veil of existence. Page after page, Raja unraveled the annals of Vettel's ancient rituals and remedies. Learning of their insidious powers and the methods to ward them off. But knowledge came at a price, and with each revelation, the veil between the netherworld and reality grew ever thinner. His mind teetered on the precipice of madness, sanity waning as he unraveled the dark secrets. Yet in his blind pursuit of illumination, Roger remained oblivious to the price he paid, his very soul marred by a darkness that gnawed at his being, in that hallowed space where past and present intertwined. Raja unleashed forces that defied the laws of nature. Vettels manifested, crawling from the shadows, their decay-ridden bodies contorted and twisted, their eyes aflame with an insatiable thirst. The night air grew heavy with the stench of rot and despair. Echoing the wailing pain of souls forever trapped in an eternal dance of torment. Roger had unlocked a door he could never close, inviting chaos and malevolence into his world. Tormented by his relentless pursuit, Roger became a mere vessel, a conduit for forces beyond mortal comprehension. The Vettel's influence crept into his mind, their spectral whispers entwining with his thoughts. Distorting his perceptions of reality, in the dead of night, Roger wandered through labyrinthine catacombs, the fetid air heavy with the stench of death. Ancient inscriptions adorned the walls, cryptic symbols etched in blood-like ink, guiding him deeper into the macabre heart of their world. Visions plagued him, merging the living with the dead. He saw the remnants of past lives, the faces of the forgotten their hollow eyes staring into the depths of his soul. Their anguished moans reverberated through the darkness, a chorus of despair that echoed in eternal torment. An insidious hunger awakened within Raja, gnawing at his very essence. It was a hunger for the forbidden power he sought, an unholy sustenance only the Vettels could provide. The lines blurred further as he realized he had become both predator and prey. Entangled in a deadly dance with the very beings he had once sought to understand. With each step, Raja's body began to mirror the grotesque decay of the Vettels, his flesh withering, and his bones growing brittle. His own mortality eroded, replaced by an unnatural endurance that defied reason. He was neither alive nor dead, a haunting amalgamation of existence and oblivion. The world around him morphed into a twisted tableau, where sinister laughter danced with shrieks of agony. The boundaries of time collapsed, intertwining past, present, and future into an opaque tapestry of nightmares. Reality fractured, the veil between the living and the dead becoming paper thin. Haunted by the spirits he had inadvertently awakened, Raja ventured into their midst, unable to resist their magnetic pull. They became his companions, their tortured whispers enthralling him, promising him untold power and boundless knowledge, all for the small price of his sanity. As he ventured deeper into the abyss, Roger realized that his obsession had condemned him to a fate far worse than death. The Vettels, masters of manipulation, reveled in his descent into madness while concealing the true nature of their intentions. What lay ahead for Raja in this dark odyssey remained a mystery. 
for terror and dread clung to him with every step, tightening their grip on his tattered soul. The realm of the Vettels held Raja captive in its spectral grip, his very existence teetering on the precipice of oblivion. With each passing moment, the boundary between life and death grew ever more fragile, threatening to consume him entirely. Within the ethereal darkness, Raja encountered twisted figures with sunken eyes and skeletal frames. Their decrepit forms a mockery of life itself. They whispered secrets spoken in forgotten tongues, weaving a web of deceit and despair around him. The Vettels reveled in their newfound puppet as they toyed with his perception, distorting reality until it shattered like a fragile mirror. Nightmares bled into wakefulness, and the waking world blurred into a phantasmagoric nightmare. Raja's mind became a canvas for their insidious artistry, painted with brushstrokes of pain, torment, and otherworldly visions. Bound to the Vettels by an unbreakable bond, Raja was thrust into a malevolent dance. Fueled by the essence of his faltering humanity, their control grew stronger, manipulating the very fabric of his being, until he became a mere vessel for their dark desires. As his body decayed further, his actions took on a grotesque semblance of life, driven by an insatiable instinct to consume the essence of souls. The Vettels reveled in their unholy feast, savoring their anguish in every tortured cry, their laughter blending with the cacophony of suffering. Caught in their endless cycle of pain and depravity, Raja's existence spiraled downward, sinking deeper into the abyss of depravity. The horrors he witnessed threatened to unravel his sanity entirely, but a glimmer of his former self remained, a flicker of defiance amidst the encroaching darkness. In the midst of the Vettel's ghoulish revelry, Raja clung to shreds of his fading humanity desperately seeking a way to break free from their wicked grasp. His mind, once consumed by insatiable curiosity, now became a battleground, where fragments of the past fought against a present mired in despair. Amidst this struggle, a faint whisper of salvation beckoned from the depths of his fractured mind. It was a sliver of whispered knowledge, a forgotten verse that held the key to emancipation. Raja's once obsessive thirst for knowledge now transformed into a desperate quest for redemption and release from the clutches of the Vettels. As his grip on reality slipped further, Raja clung to the fading fragments of light within him. With every ounce of strength he could muster, he began piecing together the scattered remnants of arcane rituals and forgotten incantations, desperately seeking a glimmer of hope in the encroaching darkness. As Raja braved the horrors of the Vettel realm, his desperation burned like a shard of light piercing the shadows. With painstaking determination, he assembled the scattered remnants of ancient rituals, a beacon of hope flickering within him. Drawing on the last shreds of his waning humanity, Raja forged connections with otherworldly entities, beings that dwelled on the fringes of existence. With their aid, he uncovered the secrets of binding the Vettels, discovering incantations capable of severing their unholy grasp. Armed with this newfound knowledge, Raja prepared for a final confrontation, a battle that would determine his fate in this grim landscape. The veil between the realms thinned, there pulsating with a sense of impending doom as the Vettels lunged at him, their jagged teeth gnashing with unrestrained fury. In a flurry of incantations and ritualistic gestures, Raja invoked the forces he had harnessed, his voice thundering with a blend of terror and newfound resolve. Arcane energies crackled in there, casting an airy glow on his sweat-laden brow. The Vettels screeched in agony as the bindings tightened, their ethereal bodies writhing in consternation. Yet, they clung to their waning power, fighting desperately to reclaim their dominion over Raja's shattered soul. With every moan and guttural snarl, Raja's resolve swelled, his determination fueled by the atrocities he had witnessed and the tethered souls waiting for liberation. 
He fought with a ferocity born of desperation and a grim determination to reclaim his own humanity. But as the confrontation reached its crescendo, a presence emerged. A sinister force that eclipsed the Vettel's malevolence. The true puppet masters of this dark realm made themselves known. Their vile intent unraveled in a tempest of shadows. Roger found himself ensnared in a web far more intricate than he had ever fathomed. A web spun by ancient entities that fed on despair and reveled in the suffering of mortals. Caught between the warring factions, he realized his quest had only scratched the surface of a malevolent labyrinth beyond his comprehension. In this harrowing climax, Roger stood at the precipice of torment and salvation. The haunting presence of the ancient entities closing in around him. Their dark laughter echoed through the dank air, each note resonating with a sadistic hunger for his demise. His limbs trembled, weakened by the ceaseless battles fought within the realms of the battles. Desperation dripped from his every pore, as he grappled with it overwhelming malevolence that threatened to consume him entirely. With a final surge of courage, Raja unleashed a cataclysmic surge of forbidden magic. Arcane light illuminated his quaking form, casting long shadows along the blood-stained walls. The entity screeched in a symphony of furious protest, their ethereal forms writhing in agony. But even as Raja's defiance surged, the malevolent entities retaliated with a power beyond mortal comprehension. Shrieking darkness cascaded across the battlefield, erasing the feeble light that dared to challenge them. Through the chaos, Roger glimpsed a faint glimmer of hope, a talisman of ancient origin. Forgotten by time yet powerful enough to tip the scales, his grip tightened around the relic, its worn surface pulsating with an energy that whispered promises of deliverance. With a final surge of determination, Roger channeled every ounce of his dwindling strength into a desperate incantation. Invoking the essence of the talisman, the ancient relic responded, unleashing a maelstrom of light that cleaved through the darkness, ripping apart the twisted fabric of the Vettel realm. In that moment, time stood still, breath held captive within his trembling chest. The once impassable threshold shattered, and light permeated the veil illuminating the forgotten souls that languished in eternal torment. As the shadowy entities recoiled, their sinister forms dissipating into wisps of malediction, Raja stood amidst the remnants of their malevolence, his body battered and scarred, but his spirit unbroken. The lingering presence of the defeated battles threatened to reclaim him, to drag him back into their twisted clutches, but his eyes blazed with a newfound resolve. The talisman's energy coursed through him, a guardian against the encroaching darkness. Yet, as Roger took his first staggering steps toward his liberation, the true depths of this nightmare revealed themselves. The remnants of the Vettels and the ancient entities merged, their malevolent essences intertwining, shaping an even more sinister force that threatened to snuff out the light kindled within him. Will Roger overcome this new horror, or will he succumb to the amalgamation of malevolence looming on the horizon? The fate of his shattered soul hangs in the balance of unseen forces. The conclusion of this dark saga drifting into the abyss of the unknown.